Hello everybody. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your very own magnetic GANS air. So first I want to just let you guys know why I decided not to make a DIY with a GTS tutorial. Uh, the first reason is that it's already been made by bigger YouTubers so it obviously wouldn't do that well. Uh, also I looked up on YouTube and there's only one other tutorial uh, on how to make a magnetic GANS air uh, and, but I didn't think it was too well made so I figured if I made a high quality video uh, a lot of people would want to watch it uh, so yeah that's basically it I have made a magnetic way long GTS it's right here you can see it lines up in place and honestly this is just an easier version of how to make this cube magnetic so anyway let's get into it and what materials you're going to need the first thing that you're obviously going to need is your GANS Air. Uh, I've had this cube for quite a while and I liked it uh, just regularly. I use it as my main for about a month, uh, but then it started locking up uh, a lot on me. I think it was due to inaccurate turning. So I think that magnets should make this a lot better. The next thing you are going to need is magnets. I've got mine right here. Uh, you're going to need 48 neodymium magnets, uh, also known as rare earth magnets. Uh, you can find these on eBay pretty easily. Uh, I use 4mm by 2mm uh, N35 magnets, which are the cheapest ones, uh, but also work very well for this cube just because it has thin plastic. And this is a pretty weak magnet compared to the ones I use in the GTS, uh, but the GTS has a much thicker plastic. But I will leave a link in the description as to where you can uh, buy these magnets. Next thing you're going to need is glue. Uh, I definitely recommend crazy glue. Uh, it's definitely ideal for this project. Uh, it dries relatively, relatively quickly and it's pretty easy to apply where you want it to. Uh, also, if it gets on your hands, it's not too awful. Next thing you're going to need is a small screwdriver. Uh, this is for the screws on the stocks of the pieces on here. You're going to need to unscrew those, so get a small screwdriver. And then finally, to move around the magnets a little bit more uh, uh, specifically, uh, you're going to want this little dispensing tip uh, that you can get on cubicle lubes or speed cube shop lubes. Uh, you're not actually going to use the lube, you're just going to use the tip. It's plastic, so it won't stick to the magnets. Um, and it makes it a lot easier to put them exactly where you want. Uh, and then the last thing, this is optional, but I do recommend having a pocket knife uh, just to take the caps off. It doesn't really hurt the caps uh, and it definitely makes the process a lot easier. All right, so the first step to actually making your magnetic GANS air is going to be to disassemble the cube. Uh, my cube is a little tight, so I'm going to loosen this. Uh, okay, so I've got my cube disassembled, and you should as well. Um, the other thing is you're going to want these uh, springs really, really loose. It'll be easier uh, for the assembly uh, later. But you're not going to need your core. What you're going to do, uh, you're going to see these screws right here. These tiny little screws, you're going to unscrew those all the way and take the stock off. You can do that with the corner piece just like that. And the edge piece has a screw as well. Uh, and you're just going to unscrew both of these all the way until they're all the way out. I already started the next step, but basically you're going to take this white stock out of each piece. And then on each piece, you're going to pry off the actual cap. So this is where you're going to use your pocket knife or fingernail and you're just going to pry off the cap. It's really easy to do on the edges. Uh, it requires a little bit more force on the corners, but it's really not that hard. There's a small thin line uh, as to where the, the cap and the piece break off. They don't break, but they come apart. Um, but yeah, so you're going to do this to all of your pieces uh, and you can come back to the video once you're done with that.
Now you should just have a bunch of these pieces without stocks and without caps. This next part is basically the most important part. It's where you're going to put the magnets and do the magnets in. So what you're going to do, you're going to take a pair of pieces, one corner, one corner, one edge. And you're just going to put these right next to each other, like so, just like that. Uh, now you're going to figure out where you want to place your magnets in each piece. What I would recommend is choosing the top right corner of the edge and the top left corner of the corner. So I'll tell you what I mean by that. So the edge has this sort of line right here. You can't see it very well on the camera, but it's got a line right here. You're going to put it on the top part of the line. That's where the magnet's going to go. With the corner, the corner has also got a line, or more like a, a pipe or something, a pole, right there. You're going to place your magnet right under that. It's going to go right in there. And you're going to keep up this, uh, this placement for the entirety of all the pieces. Um, so I'll show you one pair here. One other thing before you start. You're going to need to keep the same polarity of your magnet the entire time. So what you might want to do in order to remember the polarity is you're going to remember to take magnets off this end. So what I'm going to do, you're going to take five magnets or so off this end and maybe take a piece of paper or plastic I've just got plastic it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna put it right there and then have the magnets so you know that the, on the side that's got the plastic you're not gonna take magnets on the other side you are gonna take magnets so what you're gonna do you're gonna take a pair of magnets right here I'll zoom in for this you can take your pair of magnets break them apart and you see these two this edging corner you're going to place each magnet in there, just like that. So as you can see, the magnets aren't in the right spot right now. And this is what you're going to use your basic lube dispenser tip for. Um, you're just going to take a little dispenser tip and you're going to basically, you can move the magnets down exactly where you want them to be. So as you can see, basically got the magnets right where I want them, and that's a good spot. Now, with your pair of magnets, you're going to take your crazy glue. Gotta take it out of its casing and everything. You're going to put one drop, not a lot of glue, just one drop right here just one one drop for the corner and that's it that's all you're gonna do for that piece now you're just gonna put one drop on the edge piece and this glue is really just gonna dry in around five minutes or so and then you know you can start putting magnets elsewhere in each piece but you're gonna do this pair this exact placement Ten or actually nine more times also make sure that you're doing this placement with the corner on the right and the edge on the left if you were to do it the other way around the polarity would get all messed up uh, and it would end up being opposite and the cube would not work at all so make sure you keep corner on the right edge on the left and keep the placement of your magnets the same every time top left for the corner top right for the edge all right so you're gonna do that nine more times and you guys can come back to the video and I'll show you the next step now you should have your eight not ten I was wrong but eight pairs of um, of corners and edges mine are still drying a little bit but I can still tell you guys the next step so the next step uh, in this process is to start kind of building a layer uh, so the way to start this would be to basically you're going to flip 
one of your pairs over like this here I'll zoom in on this for you guys um, it's basically you're gonna flip see so this this would have started like this you're gonna flip it and then you're gonna take another pair like this and you're gonna flip that one as well and then you're gonna turn it 90 degrees you're going to create an L like that. Then you're going to take two more magnets like this and you're going to do top right edge, top left corner and you're going to connect those two just like that. Then obviously you can place them where you'd like and glue them in. So you're going to be able to build a layer like this, basically. Uh, I can show you vaguely what it should look like. Just like this. So you should have a whole diamond um, of this, just like around like that. You can actually make two of these diamonds. All right, so I'm just going to give you guys a quick update. I have completed both of the full layers or diamonds. Uh, I'm just waiting for this to dry. But the next step, you can actually start to see the cube shape. Uh, you're going to be connecting this edge. So, so you've got your layer here. You've got this edge here. Then of course you've got, sorry, it's very delicate. You've got your last layer here. So you're just going to be connecting the two layers like this, basically. And having your edge in between, just like that. So we're just remember to follow the rule. Uh, top right on edge, uh, top left on corner. And remember to keep the polarity the entire time. Or else the cube won't work and some magnets will repel. Some will attract and it'll be all messed up. You have to start over. It sucks. I did it once uh, with my GTS. I had to get rid of the entire cube. So keep the polarity. Uh, make sure to do the right placement of the magnets. And uh, I'll be back once I've got the whole cube shape. As you can see, I now have an entire cube shape. Uh, the glue is still drying, but this is basically the finished product. Once the glue is done, uh, you can actually take apart the pieces and reassemble the cube. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, I will show you it after all the glue is dry uh, and once I reassemble the cube completely. I have finished assembling the magnetic GANS Air. Uh, it works pretty well. As you can see, it locks into place every time. Um, yeah, I really like the feeling. It's still really smooth. Corner cuts just as well. Uh, and yeah, I definitely say this was a success. Uh, I still need to lube this cube up. Uh, and after that, I guess I can show you guys a solve. All right, so overall, this cube seems to work pretty well. It turned really, really nicely. It kept about the same performance as before. It's just a little bit more stable and definitely does not lock up nearly as much as you should be able to see in this solve. Uh, it took me about an hour to complete this. It might take you guys a little bit more if this is your first time magnetizing a cube. But uh, yeah, it definitely works well. I think it's worth it. I personally wasn't using this cube, uh, so now that it's magnetized, I think I'll use it a little bit more. But anyways, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I will leave that link in the description for the magnets that I got. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. You guys are awesome, and I will talk to you next week. Bye.